next to road racing royalty. Can I call you that, Tom? No, we've been called royalty before. Well, we'll, we'll take that. That's a good one. And legends, I'll give you that as well. <laughs> Must take that. If you say so, yeah. Not yeah. massive motorhome. That's definitely legendary status. Yeah, we've got a big bus, you know. It's a. Uh... It's a bit of a penis extension, but uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, I like my home comforts. I worked hard enough for it, so uh, yeah, love love racing the bikes and uh, love the TT, and uh, yeah, that's, that's you know that's what you get when you win. <laughs> so you had a fantastic year as well, TT. Yeah, TT went great. Northwest went good. We finished fourth in the World Endurance Championship. So what a good year. Really, really enjoyed it. You know, we've been. Here, there, and everywhere, you know, meeting different people, new tracks, even at my age. But uh, yeah, the, I suppose the icing on the cake was winning two TTs. I won the Formula One race and the and the Super Stock TT. So uh, yeah, 19th win. I never ever thought I'd ever be stood here with 19 wins. And you know, we still feel good, still feel strong. You know, still feel 18. Don't look 18 anymore, but I feel 18. But yeah, you look 17. <laughs> Stone, stones. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's good though. We've got the same package next year and. Uh, you know, we'll uh, just keep the head down and uh, carry on racing and enjoy it. Do you see the distance, 20th win? I'd like to think so. It's uh, it's not, uh, there's no reason why not. You know, the bikes are good enough, the team's good enough. I still feel good and uh, you never know with a TT what what happens, you know, any, anything can happen. And uh, But I'll just go about my business the way I do. You know, I'm experienced enough and work with great people. I'll just get the head down and... Uh, if I don't win another one, it doesn't really matter. I've got 19, which is an incredible uh, TT uh, career. And uh, but as long as I'm safe, we're in one piece and enjoying it and doing a good job for everybody, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. Because you've been doing this for a very long time. What makes you keep carrying on year after year? Yeah, good question. I haven't got the answer for it. You know, I don't think there's anything like jumping on your bike at the TT. You know, it's uh, not only the winning, it's the, the challenges and, uh, you know, slightly different directions with different bikes and uh, developing the bikes, developing the tyres and, uh, you know, when you win a, a six-lap TT, you stand on the podium, your national anthem's playing, you know, it's uh, it's a pretty special feeling and, uh, you know, I've done lots of things in my racing career but that just, you know, that's the icing on the cake when you can win a TT but uh, there's not... There's not a right lot left in me. Maybe in one or two years, and then you know it's maybe time to move on. But once the young lads start beating me, you know it's maybe time to hang the leathers up. But they're not just doing it just yet. So who do you see as your rivals at the moment for next season? It's hard to say. You know, it's uh, obviously the Dunlop kids are uh, coming on strong. Guy Martin, it's about time he won one. You know, he's been knocking at the door for years, and uh, we never know. Cameron Donald's going good. Uh, there's, uh, there's there's quite there's quite a few, you know. But uh, well, I'll just. You know, I'm south on my own, you know, it's we're racing against the clock and just see what happens. But uh, there's some good lads, but uh, we'll just try and keep this sort of step ahead of them if we can. Still so, same team as next year as well? Yeah, TT Legends Colours, and I'll be doing something with the Padgett family as well. Uh, and it works real good for me, you know, like the Padgett side of things is old school, which is, uh, which is what I enjoy, you know, uh, no pressure from them. And obviously the TT... The Honda TT Legends team, you know, obviously, I've got to step up, step you up a little bit there, and uh, try and deliver the goods. But uh, we've got the best, we've got the best bike, and we've got the best team, and the best tyres. And you know, one, I'm probably one of the most experienced. So the ingredients are there. It's just a case of uh, a little bit of luck on the day, and, and see, see what happens. Do you get a lot of the youngsters coming up to ask you for advice? You're a father figure at TT now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do. You know, it's really difficult to just to give the right advice. You know, you can only steer them a little bit but we all have different styles we all go around our business different ways you know some train a lot harder some are focused in different ways you know and it's something that you can't teach you know it's something that has to be done by feel and experience and time and, you know it's like Rome wasn't built in a day you know you can't just drop to the in and win you know it takes a while you've got to be patient with it and uh, as long as you're patient and, and you know you you know, you don't want to be there 18 years old. You don't know anything about life at 18 years old. You need to be experienced a bit, a bit of racing, and understand, understand the job a bit, and then, you know, it, it, it sort of comes. But it's, it's a passion. It's a thing. Of, it's, it's a passion thing as well. You know, it takes a long time, and if you, if you're willing to do it, you can win in the end. Thank you. Cheers.